Truly we will. Amen. Glad to be here one more time, ain't you? Right. Amen. Glad for the pressing power of God. Amen. Amen. Because you know, flesh, flesh always seems like it feels better sitting in the couch or in a recliner. Amen. But when you press to go to church, <clears throat> or when you press to do anything for God, you'll come out on top. Amen. 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 That's right. You really That's right. will. It won't get you down, but it'll lift you up. Mm -hmm. What it'll do. Yeah. I'm glad to be here today. And mm -hmm. yeah. My mouth was really hurting when I got here. <clears throat> but I thank God for deliverance. And I, what he was bringing to my mind when I was singing there, and it was hurting so bad. And I said, he, he, he brought back to my memory how when my legs was hurting, I'd make myself somewhere to church, and I would praise him, buddy. I'd praise him with that leg. And, I'd, and when I'd leave there, my leg pain would be gone or whatever happened. And I was thinking about as we sit up here, how many times have I stood before you and say, I ain't got a pain in my body. Yeah. Or it's been a long time. Well, here lately, I can't say that, Brother Wayne. I've, I've had a few aches and pains come along my way. I ain't a claim them. I'm just saying what's true. Yeah. And, but I'm still yeah. glad that when you're singing that, song that says he's the God of the mountain yeah. and he's the God of the valley. So he's, the, he's my God when I ain't hurting uh -huh. and he's my God when I am. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. I still yeah. want to be able to have the pressing yeah. to That's say right. through the pain and through it all. Paul, buddy, in Amen. much afflictions, Paul gave God glory. He said, I found joy in my affliction. Amen. I found joy in the things that I was doing for God. Why? Because there's a joy that's deeper down inside of us than any pain can't take it, buddy. It can't do it. Bad news from the doctor can't take it. Bad News. It don't matter if a coroner shows up, buddy. Amen. There's joy in the morning. Yes, and said, weeping may endure for the night, church, but there's joy yes, in the morning. As you read the scriptures, I go to the hills where cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, who is the maker of both heaven and earth. And he told Jesus, said, I give you power, both in heaven and in earth. So he's got all power, but in both places, buddy, in our spiritual, wherever it's at, and in our flesh. And it's here. Amen. He's got power over both of them. And I thank him today. He's a good God. I praise him for everything he's done. He's a good God. And I just, I want to, there's a, go ahead and go to Corinthians. I don't know how to start, so we'll just do something here and get started. <laughs> Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I just, I think about all the hearts that went at ease when Trump said that when they said Trump's our new president. Amen. Second Corinthians 6 and 17. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. You ready? Amen. He said, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, <clears throat> and I will receive you. And I and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Let's pray. Dear most kind, gracious, heavenly Father, Lord, we love you and we appreciate you, God, and we thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done that you're going to do, Lord. Help us, Lord, to speak your oracles, Lord. Give us an anointing that will break every yoke, God, Lord. We love you and we thank you, Lord. And we know, Lord, in ourselves, Lord, we don't even deserve what we felt now the healing that's already come across our body today. We know we don't deserve it, Lord. You've sent it our way, God, because we're your people, Lord, and we're living, Lord, in the way you'd ask us to live. We give it all to you today, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord. And amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God good to us. Amen. Give him a hand. Thank, Thank you, Lord. You. <clears throat> amen. For that, the Bible teaches us that uh, I've, what was on my heart, there's still a call to come out. Amen. There's still a call to come out. You've got to come out from amongst the world and be a separate people, saith the Lord. Right. And touch not the unclean thing. And the Bible says there in verse 14, it says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? He said, And what concord hath Christ with Baal? It says, Or what part hath he that believeth with as an infidel. And you know, the Bible even teaches as far as an infidel, it's somebody that, that won't even provide for their own household. The Bible says they're worse than an infidel, and they've already denied the faith. So we got to work this hour that we're living in, don't we? Right. Amen. But he yes. said for us to come out from amongst the world and, 
And I was thinking about all the people that's got Amen. comfortable with the election and everything. And now they're saying America's got hope. America's got hope. Trump's in there. And I know what they're talking about. It's because he says Jesus every now and then. And I know we voted for the best of the two lesser evils. And right. we did the best that we could. But now it's in God's field. Amen. Amen. God's got to do what he's got to do with this thing. But, but there's still a call for us to come out from Amen. amongst the world. And, and my heart went to the... The children of Israel, as they was there, and they was brought into the, the bondage. You know, everything went good for them. They, they took and they went into the family. We all know about Joseph and how Joseph taken, and how he taken come from where he came. He had the dreams, and his brothers sold him off into Egypt, and he was there in Potiphar's house. We know all that, and we know that Joseph that was took, and he was set up in a second chariot beside of the king. And, and we know that these things was come to pass for the good of the people of God. Brother Wayne, Amen. he's bringing them out. He's a bringing them out in, in a sort that we want to look at. And here, here they was, and they was called, and there's a famine come in the land. And, and a famine always takes somebody. If you start running out of water, buddy, you're going to go looking for some water. Amen. If you run out of food, you're going to go start looking for some food. Well, they found it in Egypt, and there was a ruler there that was the name of Joseph that was doing these things, and it brought all of God's people to this little place that they placed them called Goshen. And here they was, and they lived there many years, Samuel. Here they lived there many years, and everything was just all right and, and good as long as that king was there and as long as Joseph had his place there and his thing. But the Bible says there was a time that that king died, and they rose up another king that knew not Joseph. Yes. So this king went to looking around and he's looking around and how that the people of God was multiplying and how the thing, and he said, man, if there'll be a war break out in another country and, and they join up with them, they'll beat us, they'll overthrow us. So he said, let's put Amen. burden upon these people and, and the things But the Bible even teaches and says, even though this king was putting these burdens upon these people, the Bible says they begin and they multiply even Amen. more, buddy. Amen. He told them, he said, kill their little boys and keep their little girls. But praise be to God, even the Egyptian women, even the people that go in and that help them have their babies, they take and tell them, and they couldn't do it, Brother Wayne. Amen. And they'd even go and tell stories and say, Oh, we go into them women, and buddy, they ain't like we are. They go ahead and have your babies, buddy, and they got them on the bottle before we even get to them. And the things of God, the way God brought them through and brought them out of here in this time of bondage. They had a time of freedom, they was on the wrong, and then there was a time that they went to a hunger spot, and then here there was at a time that they thought this free again. And then now they're back into some kind of bondage. Yes. But they were still through all of this. The, all it was was long suffering of God. People of America today need to understand that if we do have a president in there now that, that time is going to go on a little bit longer, it's because of long suffering. Right. He That's said right. he counted not slackness. Yeah. It's not slack unto God. But it's a calling unto repentance that yeah. all would come to repent, yeah. that none would perish. The things that's happening in America, and if we do, if this is a call for grace and mercy upon America, it's time for people not to lay back, and it's right. time for them to get on far. Yeah. It's time to reach out to the yeah. family. Yeah. It's time to say you got some more time. It's time. But don't never get it out of your heart that he can come back any time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Amen. He can come back any time. This ain't the time. Is it? I know people's looking for signs and all these things. But I can't read them a time that Jesus, praise be to God, He can come back after His church. He can come back after His bride. And they must be ready and remain ready and stay ready and be diligent and sober and always looking and praying unto Him. He's a good God. But Brother Wayne, there they was in bondage. Here they was in bondage. It wasn't enough that they was in hunger. It wasn't enough that they had to travel to get to a place of freedom again, then to be there and then to be forgotten. But here now they're in a place of bondage. And they took in what they're doing here. Little Moses says, we all know the story of Moses, how he is a baby, put out the bulrushes, and he went down the river, and his daughter, Pharaoh's daughter, got him out of the river and raised him up right there in the Egyptian's house. And then come one day, he went out to his brethren and they was a striving against one as an Egyptian out. And he smote the Egyptian. So he took him. Then the next day, he went out. And he said, Are you going to, one of his brothers said, Are you going to kill me like you did the Egyptian yesterday? And then he took him, glory be to God. And then he took him fled because he knew that they was after him, Brother Wayne, for the yeah. things that he'd done. Yeah. So here he went and he got him a wife. And he was already his father in law, leaves Jethro's house. And everything was going good. 
And then God called him to come out. Amen. Amen. God called him to come out. Amen. And come out, praise be to God. Then where did he go? He went to the, he was right there in the backside of a desert. And there was a burning bush that God hid oh, aside. How many yeah. thanks God for the burning bush Amen. that came in your life? Now I'm telling you, I thank God for the day, praise be to God, that there was something that caught my heart that I could not stop watching, that I couldn't stop looking. And praise be to God, it didn't go away. It wasn't consumed. Think about this now. That's the spirit when it takes and wants you or wants you Amen. is a beckoning and there's a call yes. and there's a grieve of the Amen. Holy Ghost Amen. that says this is my child Amen. and I will not stop till I get them and I thank God that that bush wasn't consumed with some kind of drug or that bush wasn't consumed with some something of the world or a car or a house or a woman praise God but this bush yes. they lit in my life and I noticed it Amen. and then when he noticed that bush he said Take off your shoes, Moses. Holy Holy Holy. See, <laughs> we see it as just a pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, no. But that night that I give my life to God, Amen. he said, take off your life, J.R. That's right. You started beginning a new life in That's me. Right. See, he asked Moses for his shoes, but he asked me for my life. He asked my flesh to depart. Yeah. He asked my flesh to die. He yeah. said, you die daily. Yeah. He asked that. It was just Moses' shoes. I thank you, Lord. But praise be to God, that represented that when you come to me, you come holy. Amen. You come acceptable. Oh, you come my way or no way. There's only one way to get to God. And Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but through and by me. He's the only way and the only acceptable way. Pull off your shoes. Pull off your flesh. Take your flesh. Let now have glory. Mortify the deeds of the flesh. Fulfill the praise be to God so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. But you can walk in the Spirit of God. Amen. If you want to. There's power in this, buddy. There's power in this. If we take and accept this thing. But here Moses, he said, God give him commandment to go to the children of Israel. And tell Pharaoh, let my people go. They was a calling out. They was a calling out. And I experienced some of this this morning. But here's the thing. He said, let my people go. So he go to Pharaoh. He said, Pharaoh, God said, let my people go. And then he'd go and he'd say, he'd tell them, no, the Bible said his heart was hard. All right, then there'd be a plague come upon the land. Then he'd go and he'd tell him, he'd ask Moses to plead with God to take this thing away. So that's what he done. And then it went time after time was over, but then it come to a point that Pharaoh said, okay, I'll give you some of your sheep. I'll give you some of your cattle. I'll give you some of your daughters and some of your sons. Then you go worship this certain length and then you return. But here's the thing. The church is satisfying what the world says they can do. Come on. The church is being satisfied with the, what the world, you can do this much and you can say this, you, you can go so far and then you've got to stop. But we need somebody as a Moses to stand up and say, no, if we ain't going with them all, then we ain't going either. Praise be to God and we're going to still plead with God. God's going to send the plague and things are going to happen. Brother Wayne, he wants everything of his people. He don't want just a little bit. He didn't tell Moses you'd be satisfied with taking just a few off and a few sheep. No, you got to have everything. That's mine out of that place. i got to do it. Let me tell you something, church. He's come to protect a people and bring them out of a people. And he commands the best. He wants the best out of our life. Amen. He said to take, we got to lean to the Spirit and not to the flesh. And when we lean to the Spirit, we'll find the things of God and the satisfaction of God and eat the good of the land if we we'll do those things. Amen. Amen. God's people has the best. Yes. Has the best. No. Amen. I ain't preaching prosperity. That's right. But I shouldn't be shocked when God's people I'm talking about God's people. Comes to me and says, man, my job gave me a $30,000 a year raise. Amen. 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 That who, that, you, that's all that happened. That you got favor with God. Amen. Here's right. Joseph, buddy. Yep. Down in the dungeon, ended up second with the king. Yes, he had favor with God. Yes. Why? Because when he was back at the father's house, the father made him a coat. 
And he said, you leave with this coat. And he said, you go check on your brother. And when he went and checked on his brother, even though his coat, the fleshly part of him, was stripped away, that God used him. And even though he was in the ditch, he didn't say, Daddy, I can't do it. He went right on. He left with the, the, the commandment, go check on your brother. That's what he left. And he stuck with that. And when he stuck with that, you seen what happened. Oh, yeah. they, here they come. The dreams was brought to pass. Yeah. They all came before him. Yeah. And what happened? His family was delivered. Yes. That's right. Delivered out of what? Hunger. Yeah. Thirst. Yeah. Brought into a land of plenty. Yeah. Given what they needed, yeah. Brother Wayne. Yeah. And doing the thing. And if we hold to the commandment of our Father, yes. if we hold to the commandment yeah. of God, He's well glorified yeah. to God. Yeah. I'm telling you, church, we need to understand yeah. what the yeah. Word of God is. Yeah. I'm telling you today, He told us He's not seen the righteous. Forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. And if you're sitting here this morning, you're in a seat of Abraham, boy, by the and you're saved by the almighty grace of God, Jesus Christ, you can claim those promises. That's yours today. Yours. My mercy. I claim it. Thank you, Jesus. So here they, here they was at this place, and there's a couple offers made. A couple of offers made to Moses. Well, you just take this and that and you go so far. Oh, even one time he said to go and then he uh, bring it back. He brought it back because let me tell you something. He knows the king. I said, son, something had to be in him kept. Praise good God. And I let these go and we'll lose everything I got. Yes. And we'll lose everything I got. Amen. And that's what happened. You know what the Bible says? God gave the Egyptians favor to them. And they spoiled them. <laughs> Woo! They spoiled them. Is what they done. What's that? They got all their goods. Right. They got all their goods. Everything that ever, how many million people could carry, buddy, they had it, buddy. And they walked out of Egypt. And, buddy, I'm telling you, and then they looked around and said, My mercy, we ain't got nothing. We better go back after them. And here, but it's all in God's plan to show what God can do and the things He can bring you out. It's all His. We just got to go with it. Come when He spoke at Him, bring them out of the bush. He had to keep going till they come out of Egypt. Amen. Amen. We've got to keep on Amen. preaching until they come out of Egypt. That's right. right. And then when they on their way, they come to a place and they said, the enemy's behind us. The sea's before us. And then it took somebody. Listen, you can be this somebody. It ain't got to be your pastor all the time. It ain't got to be pastor's wife all the time. It ain't got to be the neighbor. It can be you. There got to be somebody say, stand still. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. They got to be somebody talk to the storm and say, peace be still. They got to be somebody say, healed in the name of Jesus. They got to be somebody say, I believe in what God said. That praise be to God that we are never forsaken. We're not, we might be cast down, but we're not for God. We're the people of God. And we need to live like we are people of God. Amen. And he's a good God. Yes, he is. Oh, Jesus. And then what did they see? One of the greatest miracles ever, ever happened in the history of man. One of the greatest miracles beside one that healed the blind. That was later on. But here, here he was standing there and the Lord told him to hold it up over the sea. Hold it up and here the winds came, the east wind came and parted the waters. And the man it said, was of great walls. You can just imagine water of great walls that was standing before him. And then when it comes to the time that he told him, but that don't ain't even it. There was a boundary set behind them that the enemy could not cross That's until right. God got done performing what he needed to perform right. to get them through the obstacle that they needed to get through. Well, are you grabbing any of this? Are you grabbing any of this? I mean, if God knows how far to let the enemy get, and yes. God knows how to get. You know what he's going to do? All of us praise, but he got 
he knows them that are his. Amen. Amen. And he is able, praise be to God, yes. to keep us in the hour of temptation, to keep Amen. us in this hour that we're living Amen. in. And this was the same hour they had here. The enemy was behind them. The sea was before them. But there was a breakthrough come, Brother Wayne. Amen. And you've got to go through the breakthrough. So that, well, they had to walk. Why didn't he just fly them across? It wasn't what, what the plan was. Even though, glory be to God. Why did they get sick? Why did they do that? Just trust God. Quit asking him questions. Go and make it a step there all day. And said, Moses, where's the rockets at? Moses, where's the planes at? But no, they said, uh, there is our opportunity. And I'm going to go on dry ground, on foot. How much more can a God do? But let's make a plane like that. Amen. 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 How much more? Come on. My God, church. And here they go across. That's just a bull. Yeah. And then he lets the enemy go. Do you know God's in control of the enemy? That's right. Do you know the Bible teaches us that he created good and evil? And it was all for what? His glory. He brought it. So here he let the enemy go. You know what the enemy's easy to do? Oh, yeah. This right here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the enemy's easy to do. I see why? Because the blind lead the blind and they both fall in the yeah. So I can just see a bunch of them guys just over there, buddy, just, just like that right there. I couldn't see. Couldn't fit. Well, I don't even know what to do right now. There's something come before. Don't you know God can do your enemy like that? Don't you know He has done your enemy like that? Don't you know that He has no power over you? The gates of hell cannot prevail against the church. We've got the promise of God and we need to walk in it. But there comes a time of separation. Yes, there is. Amen. <laughs> So he brought them across. And here they, over on the other side, here the enemies come. Why can't we believe God? Amen. 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 He said, Moses, lift up your staff again. He lifted it up, and the waters come and swallowed them up. Mm -hmm. They said, this Pharaoh that you see today, you will not see no more. You will not sit no more. Let me tell you something, church. We've got the same promises. We've got the same promises. We've got who, what, this old man or old woman you've seen today, you'll not see them no more. Hey, hey buddy. Yeah, the neighbor might drag them out of closet. The one down the road might drag them out of the closet. When God said promise that it's going to be as cast as far as east as the west, could you imagine getting up every morning, Pam, and have to fight through all that? Right. Could you imagine right. going through your day having to fight through all that? No, Jesus said, I've swiped your clay, plate clean. Yes. I've made you whole. Yes. I've made you righteous. Yes. I've sanctified you. Yes. I've brought you out. I've made you yes. who you need to be. Now walk in the goodness of the grace of God. Walk in the wholeness of the glory of me and glory be to God. And he said, then he'll be your God. You'll be his sons and daughters. That's who he'll be to you. You've got to come a separation. Even in Isaiah 52 and 11 says, Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence. Touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that ye bear the vessels of the Lord. Amen. There's vessels of honor and there's vessels of dishonor. Yes, I want to be a vessel of honor. Amen. Yes, I want to be yes. meat for the master's use. That when I go about in my day, that he can look and say, there's one will witness. Amen. There's one will talk yeah. to him. There's one will take a beating. There's one will take a good cuss. There's one will do it for me and shine my name out to be the glory of God. There's nothing better than going out to the tool shed and finding the exact tool you need. That's right. Huh? That's right. Ain't that right? That's right. You like looking for your stuff? No. Huh? God said, will I find faith when I come? Yeah. Will I find faith when I come? Yeah. Brother Wayne, I don't want him looking around for me. No. I don't want him going through the garden. Says, Where art thou, J.R.? Where art thou, J.R.? I don't want to I don't want to say the words I've sinned and I don't feel that I'm worthy to be around you. I don't feel no. I want to be able to say here, Lord, here I am. Remember me, Lord. Remember who I am, God. I walk holy and I walk straight before you. I don't go no other way, God, but your way. You know me, Lord. We've got to be on a first name basis with God. Amen. Yeah. First name basis. God's good to us, and we need to remember. We need to remember. Thank you, Jesus. He says, he said, uh, and he told Moses, or he told, this is the story in Acts. 
He says, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him, him you shall hear. You're going to follow him. And there's one that has come out. There's one that's come out that's born of a virgin Mary. Yeah. Listen, church, if we don't put the gospel, the Lord's been dealing with me on this. We need the gospel. Amen. That's right. I know that's the truth, but we need the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And there has been one that has been set up, that has been born. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And here he comes, and here he comes was born of the Virgin Mary, as it was prophesied in Isaiah. Here he come, and he grew, Brother Wayne, Amen. up in our place, just like Moses did in Egypt. Do you Amen. remember? Can you link it together? Amen. Here he growed up, and he grew of knowing of all knowledge of the things that was going on in Egypt. And Jesus growed up as a child, knowing of all knowledge of the things that was going on in the world. But he come out, and you know what he did? He looked around, and he didn't see his people. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, "He said, I come unto my own, my own and my own receive me not." Yes. So he looked around, brother Wayne, and here he had seen old Gentile. <laughs> Jesus. Down at his feet from time to time. And he'd see a Gentile calling out for him. And he'd see a Gentile. But here was the stiff necked Jew standing back saying he's none of ours. And we won't claim him. Kill him, let his blood be upon our children. But there's these old Gentiles. And thank God. Thank God. You know what he did in the Bible teaches? That he took those, listen, he took and shut their eyes up. They couldn't see. Why? Because he wanted to graft in a people that come out with people for his name's sake. And from the Gentiles, it's coming to us, and we're brought out, and He's called us to come out from amongst the world and be a separate people, saith the Lord. This is New Testament church. The same way they come out of Egypt is the same way we got to come out of the world, and it's going to be by the high hand, by the mighty arms of the Lord Jesus Christ, God Almighty Himself. And we can do it today if we just take and watch our Moses. Amen. He's our Moses today. Amen. Jesus, the Lord Almighty. Amen. He's our Moses. And if we'll keep our eyes toward Him, He come, the Bible said, to seek and save them which was lost. He come and give His life on Calvary, Brother Wayne. He come and He did His same things. By mercy, I know. I know we go from the Old Testament to the New Testament. And how this does, but I couldn't help get this brought back to my memory. How He brought them out of Egypt. How He brings us out of the world. You've got to link that together. It's yeah, got to be there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> How can we bring the gospel out? The apostles brought the gospel out from the Old Testament. That's how they brought it out. That's why I can easily say the same God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. All He did was show us His power and His name and give His name. And He said, my name is Jesus. Emmanuel, being God with us today. Why? Because praise be to God. Because He is who He said He was. He is. He said before Abraham was, I am. He said, that praise be to God. And He is the one God Almighty that we need to serve today. And live today. And if you Amen. don't know him, you need to know him for yeah. yourself. Yeah. Amen. Do you fight preacher? I fight every day. There's a spiritual warfare every day. Yeah. And I thank God for Paul telling us this. Oh, yeah. Why? Because we'd always think we was lost. Right. Yeah. We'd always think we was lost. Yeah. And Paul knew. Paul knew if he didn't tell us this, how we'd feel every day. But it's not a shame to fight with the devil. That's right. It's not a shame to fight with the flesh. Amen. But when we, it's a shame for us to not recognize who's in us. That's right. That can overcome the flesh. Amen. He's like you said earlier. He overcome the world. Now I can overcome the world. Amen. But for us to give in to such petty things. Yeah. And to go back under these things. Uh -uh. No, we got to take a tin and give it to the Spirit. And say, Lord, this is a fight I can't fight. You're going to have to take this battle. And you know what he'll do? The Bible teaches you that he'll raise up a standard in your life. And the Bible says there's no weapon formed against you that's going to prosper. Why can't we believe him? Why can't we trust him? Why can't we do it? Let me go over here and remind you something more sweet. If Lord permit. She read it, but I'm going to bring it a little bit farther. He said, I will lift up mine eyes into the hills from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Amen. When I read this the other day, I 
I imagine Jesus going up Golgotha's hill. <laughs> These are his promises in the flesh. He was in the flesh, man. He was in the flesh. He says, He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. <laughs> I ain't gonna mess up. <laughs> Here he's gonna have God God was healed. This can't be wrong. My God's directing every footstep. He's directing my path. Listen to this. It says, He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He ain't forgot about me. He ain't for he ain't taking a break. He ain't off somewhere dealing with somebody else. He's right with me right now. Why? Because I'm going through something. I got a hill to climb. I got a cross to carry. I've got somewhere to go. And he is not slumber. My God is forever here. He said, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Can you imagine going up God God was healed not having his promise? Could you imagine doing that? No, but Jesus, I can hear it going through his heart. Oh, my God's not asleep. I'm going to the top of his head. Then why I love them? I love them. I love them. Them is my people. And they're going to be mine. Look here. Let me get back. Oh, I love you, Jesus. And he said, he said, the Lord is thy keeper. Right. Amen. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> no. No, he's not going to allow my soul. My soul to end up in hell. He's not going to allow that. Right. Ain't that what Jesus said? That's what he said. Amen. My soul's not going to end up in hell. He told David that. And David told him that. He says, the Lord is my keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Oh, my Lord, have my mercy. Oh, he's my shade upon. What is shade? It's a resting time. That's a peaceful point. Yes, That's a place of refuge. That's a place of you just get your time. Amen. It ain't nothing like going under an old shade tree and sitting in the shade a while until the breeze blows by. And that must be my shade right in the middle of this storm. Thank you, Jesus. He said, The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. What he's telling you. There ain't nothing in there. Then there ain't nothing in hell. There ain't nothing. Where they, I'm everywhere, he's telling me. You ain't got no problem. That's reason in Jesus. When he left the garden, buddy, he knew God had his back. He knew that there was something else, praise be to God, more than this. And he walked God got this hill in full assurance that God was his shape, that God was his, and that he had it all figured out. That's right. We gotta understand that ourselves. Amen. That's why he said, "Come as humble as a little child." Yeah. And when we understand this, we can come as humble as a little child. How did Jesus go before him and not smite him back? Because he knew what the Scripture said. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I'll repay. I'll do these Amen. things. It don't matter about us. He says, "The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul." Amen. And I gotta thank you, Matthew. We can. And here, you got all this in the, the can. Right? I was thinking about it. And I said, Lord, I said, well, if I go down there in the cellar and I get one of them cans, say, I want to add something to this. And I pop that seal. Wayne, well, this is where church is getting in trouble. That's right. And I pop that seal and I add it in there and then I go and I redo it back, buddy. You know what it'll cause it to do? Everything in it to ruin. Yeah, everything. everything in it to ruin. Yeah. You know what's forever settled in heaven? The church is trying to listen. The world's church, not man, not God's church, but the world's church, man's church, is trying to open up what's been sealed and take and put in what they want to put Amen. in and take yeah. out what they want to put right. out. But when the ingredients is in there and it's the right stuff, that's going to be there forevermore, yeah. buddy. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'll go 10 years from now and eat one of them green beans. Why? Because it's right and it's Amen. sealed right and it's not been disturbed or fooled with. Amen. He said, I'll preserve you. Yeah, I'll preserve that. you. Amen. He said, you're sealed until the day Amen. of redemption. That's a, that's a fact, buddy. Amen. You cannot go around that. He puts up man. Hey, buddy. I feel like I just met Jesus. <laughs> Bless you, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Where are you, Lord? Thank Lord. you, Jesus. says, the Lord shall preserve Thy going out, <laughs> it don't matter where I'm at. Yeah. My coming in, he said, from this time forth and even forever more. Yeah. I ain't got nothing else to worry about. Oh, Jesus is God. I ain't got nothing else to worry about the blood that was shed on Calvary right. and the taken good. And this, and this is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Still, Christ. Yeah. And listen to it. You can come and get this from the Lord. You can come and get this from Amen. the Lord. How do I do 
that preacher. You do it. You come unto the Lord. You repent. You be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. And you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And you can have this preserved in your life and nobody can ever take it from you. But you've got to love the Lord with all thy heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love your neighbor as yourself. Feed your enemy. Give them drink. Do the things that God wants you to do. Do it. Glory be to God. And that's what the apostles did. Amen. We got a perfect example from our apostles. Yeah. That's exactly what they've done. Amen. They never fought back and they never smoked and they never did these things. I'm talking about for righteous reasons. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Righteous reasons. For the things of God and for the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul suffered many things. Shipwrecked. Whipped. Stoned. You ain't supposed to get up from a stoning pan. That's right. You're supposed to be dead. That's right. But the Lord raised him up. But God. He brought him. Shipwrecked. Mm -hmm. Swam in on a plank. Yep. Did snake bit at the fire. Got to shake it off. Yes. They suffered many things of these. Yes. And you know what happened? You know where they're at today? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're sitting there. <laughs> they're sitting there. When we get there one day, they're going to raise up. <laughs> they're going to raise up, buddy. Yeah. And they're going to welcome us in. Amen. They're going to welcome us in. I love my mommy, but I want to see Jesus. Amen. I love my daddy, but I want to see Jesus. Amen. I love grandma and grandpa, but I want to see yeah. Jesus. Amen. Why? Because they didn't shed their blood. Amen. They told me about his blood, but they didn't shed their blood. That's right. I want to see the one that has the holes in his hands and the slash in his Amen. side. I want to see the one that had all those scriptures in him that walked up Golgotha's hill and said, I'm doing and shedding my blood for the sins of the whole world and I'm doing it in the name of Jesus. Listen, church, we've got all this. And we've got a hold to it today. He's a good God, ain't he? There's still a call to come out. We can't be in the world and go there. We can't be in the world and be with him also. No. He said you're going to love one and hate the other. He said you're going to cling to one and you're going to despise the other. He said what concord does Christ have with Baal? What can you be? Can you be yoked up with unbelievers? No, sir. These things you've got to come out. God said come out. And we've got to come out from the way. Right. There's still a call going. I don't care who's president. I don't care who's governor. And I don't care who the sheriff is. It don't matter. There's a call to come out. I don't care what is at stake for your fleshly life here. You've got to give it all to God. Amen. Yeah. You do. <coughs> it don't matter. It don't matter. God's good. Yeah. He's good to us, church. Yes, he is. Let's keep coming out. Every day, let's keep coming out. He's a good God. Yes, he is. I did my best to mind the Lord. I'm done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's good. God's good.